Who is Mika Galvão? If you've been paying attention to the international BGJ tournament scene, you must have heard his name by now. And if you haven't, you certainly could be for quite some time. But if the name is still new for you, this kid's got quite the story and buzz around him. Some are calling him the Brazilian Gordon Ryan. But who is he? And why is he so special? Well, I'm going to tell you all about him. What's up guys, Ricardo Balea Amadoli here, and before I give you the rundown on who Mika Galvão is, do me a solid, smash that like button, make sure you subscribe to the channel, I'd really appreciate it. Okay, so first things first, Mika Galvão is not related to Andre Galvão. Galvão is a pretty common name in Brazil, but he is a 17 year old brown belt from Manaus, Brazil. Manaus is the city in the Amazon that produced some of the toughest guys in the sport, like Ronaldo Jacare. Shanji Ribeiro, Walid Ismail, and many more. Mika actually got his brown belt from his father, Melki, who is the head of the Dream Art Academy in Manaus. Dream Art has another location in Sao Paulo led by Isaac Baez and is one of the first ever pro sports team in Jiu Jitsu, but we'll talk about that another time. Mika is also a black belt in the Brazilian grappling art of Luta Livre and trains extensively in Judo and wrestling to help his overall grappling game. Dream Art is part of the Alliance team and Mika was affiliated with Cobrinha Charles over the years but has recently relocated in Miami to train with Team Fight Sports. Now you may be wondering what's so special about him? Well for starters when he was still in his early teens he was tearing up the local SoCal tournament scene and has some big wins over some of the top teenage and juvenile athletes from around the world. But his name really took off when he went back to Brazil. And after being promoted to blue belt, Mika made a public challenge where he wanted to test himself against black belts. This sent shockwaves in the local Manaus Jiu Jitsu scene. As some people thought it was disrespectful, others thought it was just cocky. But he eventually got someone to step up and accept. So at the Copa Podio Orange League event, Mika faced off against a legit black belt from Manaus. The result? Mika won this challenge match by arm lock in about 7 minutes. From then on, Mika continued his winning streak at several major IBJJF and AJP Tour events worldwide, as well as more super fights against black belts. He at one point amassed a winning streak of 100 wins mostly by submission. He was promoted to purple belt at the age of 16 and recently promoted to brown belt at 17. He also had another challenge match recently where he submitted another very tough black belt, Gustavo Tellis, in under 60 seconds. His brown belt career thus far has been pretty amazing as he won the Abu Dhabi Grand Slam, World Pro, and recently the IBJJF Nogi Pan Ams. It's not just the wins and titles that is turning heads about this kid, but is the way he's winning. In a very well-rounded and entertaining style with almost all his wins coming by submission in record time, including a 28 second win in the Abu Dhabi Grand Slam Finals, and today winning three matches in a row in under one minute each by submission before winning a tough finals match by decision. Right now Mika is Brazil's most popular up and coming Jiu Jitsu star. His Instagram alone has a following of 150,000 followers and growing daily. He just put out two new DVDs on BGJ Fanatics and I can say with all honesty he has had the most buzz at brown belt that I've seen in quite some time. Now that Mika is in the states for a short while he threw himself right into the fire. On May 28th, he'll face the very dangerous Andrew Tackett on the upcoming Flow Grappling promotion, who's number one, and has also entered into some controversy again as he put his name into the next EUG promotion's 170 pound bracket, where he'll be the only brown belt allowed in the eight man bracket full of legit black belts. In August, he'll have an upcoming super fight at the next BGJ Bet event in Brazil where they created an entire event and bracket around the opportunity to fight Mika in this event. As his confidence is growing with his experience and physical structure, so has his technical prowess, as he continues to look more and more impressive in each match, combining a strong takedown and passing game with the fluid sweeping and submission system in place. But as the leg lock game in Manaus specifically with heel hooks does not seem to be very strong, Mika did not look out of his element this weekend even winning a match by heel hook in under one minute. There does not appear to be many kinks in his armor, but as the tests continue to come his way, and as he continues to take them on all directly, 
Only time will tell if Mika is truly the next big thing in jiu-jitsu the fans and sport have been waiting for.